Words matter. Language matters. And that's why when you are communicating with your clients, when you are telling about, about your business, your products, your services, the amount that they're going to invest with you, you have to be very careful with your words. We never really want to talk about the challenges and the pain and the conflict that our client is facing today because nobody really wants to discuss this. These become either things that are buried underneath the sand or the problems that we do face, we just go ahead and Google search them. We WebMD ourselves as clients and find, ah, there's the Band-Aid fix, we're good. And when we talk to a client, listen, Mr. Customer, what's your challenge? What are you facing? It doesn't have the same weight. When we ask them, how much would you like to spend? That's like tearing something out of somebody. When we ask them, listen, Mrs. Customer, what would this mean to your business to achieve this? How much growth would you like to see when we've achieved this? What are your goals and dreams and aspirations? It becomes so much more positive focused. And clients work with those that they like, know, and trust. And we trust those that we have explored our goals and our aspirations with. When you've met your significant other at some point in your dating relationship, you both sat down maybe under the stars and gazed lovingly to each other's eyes into the eternal heavens of the night sky and talked about everything that you've ever dreamed of. <sighs> Do this with your clients. Become that significant other to them. Focus on all the positive things that you want to achieve. Focus on what they will get when they invest with you. Focus on where they will be after they've worked with you. And language matters. And if you find yourself saying something that just didn't sit quite right, ask yourself not necessarily what is the opposite of that, but what is the absence of that? When you are no longer struggling, not what is, the diff what is the opposite of struggle, but what is the absence of struggle, the opposite of struggle might be moving forward. The absence of struggle might be ease. What is the absence of whatever negative conversation, negative word, negative noun, adjective, whatever word you have used, and ask yourself, how can I say that better? Be careful with your words. Language matters, and when we use it correctly, we move ourselves in different directions. One of the biggest areas is the statement, if, if I become your value provider, if I achieve this, ah, get rid of the word if, change it to when, when I become your value provider, when we achieve this, when we work together. It has so much more significance in that moment. It has so much more command that you know you are moving forward, not hoping to move forward. Pay attention to words, and I promise you will become a sales knockout. Tell me down below, what are some of the phrases or terminology that you need to leave from your vocabulary, and how are you going to replace them? I wanna hear from you. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.